Hi guys, Anne McKinnell here, and today I'd like to answer a question that I get asked all the time, and that is, what is the difference between Lightroom and Luminar, and which is better? So let's take a look inside, and I will explain the difference. So here is Lightroom, and what we're looking at here is a folder of images that I made on this date in Scotland. And the first thing to note is that Lightroom contains an entire image management module. So that means you can import and export your images, you have import and export presets, you can flag and star and color and label and add keywords and all kinds of stuff like that to keep all of your images organized. It's very important. Um, Light, uh, Luminar does not contain that at all, okay? So in Lightroom, you organize all of your images and you can use the develop module to do basic developing. In Luminar, you can do basic developing and you can do advanced filters to um, add more interesting effects to your images. Okay, so when it comes to the basic developing, let's look at the difference between Lightroom and Luminar. So this is the image here that I would like to work on and I've just made this green so I'm going to filter it out here so that um, we can just see only what we're working on. So I'm going to go into the develop module and just do the basic stuff I usually do. So I'll go to camera calibration, change that to camera landscape, and I'll change the white balance, lower the highlights, increase the shadows, and I'll up the whites and down the blacks to add some contrast, and I'm gonna add some clarity. Okay, in the detail, I will add a little bit of sharpening. All right. So back in the library module, now what I want to do is create a copy of this. And in Lightroom, you can do virtual copies. So I am going to right click on this and pick uh, create virtual copy. And then that way we can see the results side by side later. So I'll go back to this original one and in the develop module, I'm just going to reset it back to the way it was before I did anything, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, raw file in Luminar and do the essentially the same uh, steps. So there are two ways to open an image here. You can go file export and um, edit a copy with the Lightroom adjustments or open source files. Uh, I usually just go photo edit in Luminar and what that does is um, create the copy with Lightroom adjustments. Even though I didn't make any Lightroom adjustments in this case, it uh, really doesn't make that much of a difference so I'm just going to pick edit. Okay, so here we are in Luminar. And what I'm going to do here is pick Add Filters, and you'll see all of the different filters that I can add. So there's one here called Develop. If I had opened the file the other way, it would say Raw Develop, uh, but it contains the exact same sliders. So I'm going to do the same thing. I don't have the um, presets here for uh, daylight and cloudy and that kind of thing, so I'm just going to uh, do it manually a little bit here. Just increase those a little bit similar to the way the daylight function would. And then I'll try to do about the same things. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to lower the highlights. So I'm going to lower the highlights and I'm going to increase the shadows. And I will increase the whites a bit and lower the blacks a bit and add some clarity. The one thing that was in the Lightroom develop module that you won't find here is that camera calibration. So that is going to make a little bit of a difference in the results. I do like the camera calibration. I find that that gives me a really good starting point. So um, I think I would miss that if I didn't do it that way. 
Um, the other change I made to this image was a bit of sharpening, so I can add a bit of sharpening here as well. So I think you'll find that all of the things that are in the Lightroom develop module, uh, except for that camera calibration, you'll find here in the, um, in the Luminar develop module as well. So I'm just going to click apply. Okay, and here we are back in Lightroom. So now what I'm going to do right away is make this one three stars, and I'm going to make this one the virtual copy I did in Lightroom three stars, and that way we can easily see them side by side. Okay, so here they are. I'll get rid of that panel there and this panel here so that you can see it a bit bigger. Alright, so the one on the left is the one that I did in Luminar, and the one on the right is the one that I did in Lightroom. Um, I think that the difference between these two is mostly that camera calibration, but you can probably see that anything that I wanted to do, um, I could accomplish pretty much the same thing using the filters in Luminar. So, to answer the original question, what is the difference between Lightroom and Luminar and which is better, I would say that that's like comparing apples and oranges. In Lightroom, you have the whole image management module where you keep everything organized and you can do some basic development. In Luminar, you don't have any of that image management. You can do basic development and advanced development. So there's also advanced filters that you can do in Luminar that aren't in Lightroom, okay? So if you're using some other program to keep your images organized, if you're not using Lightroom but something else and you've got everything organized the way you like it there, by all means, you can just go ahead and open your photo in Luminar and do the basic processing there using that develop filter um, and then continue on and do your advanced filters as well. My workflow, because I do use Lightroom and I love Lightroom and I'm not about to give it up, um, I always do all of my image management in Lightroom. I do my basic development in Lightroom. And then at that point, I decide where I want to go with the image. So right now, probably 75 or 80% of the time, I am taking my photo into Luminar to add advanced filters. Um, because I like the way Luminar adds a bit of punch with keeping the natural look. Sometimes I want to do something else with my image. If I want to make a painterly effect, or if I want to do black and white, or add a texture, or something different, I might choose a different plugin, maybe one of the Topaz plugins, or something like that. Um, but that's typically my workflow. I start in, in Lightroom, I do everything I possibly can in Lightroom, and then I move on to the next plugin, which these days is often Luminar. Okay, so let's just take a look at some of that advanced work. So I'm going to take now the image that I processed in Lightroom and go ahead and open that one in Luminar just to show you what my normal workflow is. So I'm going to edit a copy with the Lightroom adjustments, especially because I did make all of my basic adjustments in Lightroom. And now I am going to do some more fun stuff. So I'll click Add Filters, and I love this Accent AI filter. This is just amazing. Um, with one slider, how much of a difference it makes. So I'm just going to boost here a little bit, and I can use the visibility icon to see if that's what I wanted. Maybe I'll try a little bit more even. Okay, good. And I am going to pick Golden Hour. And I'll add a bit of that. Oh, not too much. These colors are already pretty gold. Just a little bit. And then finally, I will add a vignette. And you might be wondering how come I have some of these in orange here. And you can favorite your, um, your favorite filters by clicking over here, the star. So say I wanted to use tone all the time, I can click this little star here and make it orange. And that way your favorite ones are easier to find in the list. So I'm going to go vignette and I will add a post crop vignette and maybe a little bit of inner light. Okay. 
I'll use the visibility icon at the top to see the before and the after, and that does exactly what I want. It adds a bit of punch to the image while keeping the natural look. Okay, I hope this helps to answer your questions. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and like my video, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.